Hey guys, good afternoon. I am on my way to the doctor's office. This is technically my 20 week appointment. Today is the big anatomy scan day, which is, I don't know, I feel like I feel every time I go to the doctor, I don't really feel much different. I heard from research on YouTube that this is like the scary appointment. This is also the appointment that we could find out what the gender is of the baby. The little baby Isaac, if it's a girl or if it's a boy, we will not be finding out because we have our gender reveal on Friday. I said on Friday, it's on Saturday. I don't even know the days no more. Basically, it's been a while since I vlogged because my whole week has been about that. I've been doing little projects and little things going on like that. So, and then we have to do a lot of errands, like get food, get, uh, I have to go to my dad's house to go get uh, a table and some chairs. And it's just like a lot of preparation that I didn't intend on doing, but it's like, you know when it is when like events come close and you like realize that you want all this stuff and I ain't got the money to do all the stuff I wanna do. So it's gonna be like a whole bunch of little DIY situations and we just gonna get make the best of it. I have a good group of friends that has been helping me in this process. So that is very exciting. Outside of that, um, my friend Baja, Baja if you're watching this, thank you in advance she is going to be picking up the infamous envelope card sticky note whatever it is that the gender is going to be written on and she's going to be the one to get the product i really want to do smoke cannon but it's up to her what she gets i sent her pictures on what i wanted so as long as i know know the gender at this point it really doesn't matter but I don't know I'm not anxious my biggest fear at the moment is that they end up accidentally telling me what the gender is so I hear you need to tell them quite a few times to not make that mistake so that would kind of suck knowing ahead of time and just anticipating on everyone else's reaction because I'm not gonna say I can care less on other people's reaction, but there's like a part of me that can care less about other people's reactions. I just want them to have a reaction, but um, it's more about just me and David finding out what the gender is. So it's been so long since I've seen baby, so I just want to see him or her move. I want to see, you know, that she or he is healthy. Like, I want to know that the baby's okay. I really do. That's that's just the biggest thing. But outside of that, I guess I just see you when we get at the doctor's. Hey. What's going on? What's going on? Here at the doctor's office. We got big things going on today. I heard my friends like this point is going to be an hour. I heard that it's long. Yeah. I wonder what else they do. I just heard that the actual scan is long. The what? The scanning? Yeah, it's actually long. Uh, longer than usually. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. <laughs> the pants used to fit differently. <laughs> Even shit. That was my favorite pants to see you wearing. <laughs> it's okay. It'll come back ten times better. Even shit. I'm saying it'll come back ten times better. It's not in my outfit. Alright. That's the cervix? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Oh, there's a head. Oh, look how big and round the head is. Oh, got some ribs. Oh, it's moving. Ken, why are you doing your head like that so I don't get your face, huh? <laughs> That's not funny. Got a hand, got bones. Like yeah, you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of 
perfectly round. It was an alien head last time we did it. Little shoulder piece. Look at those fingers. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh, that looks like five. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, five. Oh my gosh, it's Hunting. <laughs> Gotta see Hunting. <laughs> she waving. She waving. He she waving. He or she. <laughs> We don't know. We'll keep it a secret. <laughs> All right. How about we get your profile like I was trying to do before? It's a spinal cord. Yeah. The little head thing, like, it looked different. Um, right lens, pretty much. The eyeball. Yeah. And let me try to find some From what you can see so far, it seems like it's measuring normal things. It's measuring exactly on time. Alright. So, so far, so good. Swimming in there. I know. <laughs> oh, is that 3D? Oh, no. Or 4D. 4D. Ooh. Oh, look at that. How? Oh, oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so weird like that. <laughs> oh, no, the movement. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Whoa. <laughs> That's a wee. Wow. That's a wee. Whoa. <laughs> well, the baby's heart is towards your back right now. So, so when the baby uh, moves up, it might be stronger and louder. Uh, <laughs> what was the number? So the... 130 something. Full anatomy check. Oh, did I get it? Did I get a good glance at everything? Do you know? Five what? toes? Five toes? Can you tell now? What? I don't want to know, but I want to know Gender? you know. Yeah, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. She knows. I know. She knows. I told you I know. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, one's killing you, Papa. Yes, it's it's okay. You. I know. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Because <laughs> sometimes it'd be like hard for me to find it. Are you able to tell if it's like tilted or? Um, it's a little bit um, tilted, but now with the pregnancy, it's going to go to a normal position. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to probably go back down. This is her legs. Put another pressure here. Taking this out. Okay. Go ahead and get in there and clean up real good. Get dressed. Alright. Alright. Yeah. There you go. It's like a real baby. Mm hmm. Hey, look at this head. Hold on. Let me zoom in. That's a good hand right there. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of pictures. Does she take pictures of the penis? I don't or know. The, or did the baby? I don't know. It's disrespectful. I'm sorry. So once know. we know the gender, then we can talk about baby names. Finally, but we suck. <laughs> we do not agree on baby names. At least we're thinking hard about it. At least we ain't just like throwing out some, you know, crazy names and be like, oh, that's it. Are we thinking hard about it? Because I feel like we try a couple of things and then we give up on each other. And we're like, we'll just wait. <laughs> it's better to just wait until you know the gender then you can knock out half your names. Yeah. It's like a part of me wanted to know the other time and it's like, but then I feel like the reveal isn't as Fun, maybe if we know. No, we need raw reactions. Uh, it's 
like this whole time I haven't been bothered by it though. Mm -hmm. That's like because I can though. It's like I want to be bothered. I guess. You want to be bothered? I don't know. It's like I want to know just because I can, but not necessarily that I feel the urgency to. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't feel any different though. I'm just like, I right, got this envelope. Yeah. So, I'm okay with the wait. It's only a week. I mean, I'm okay. I know I am okay with the wait. It's just that the fact that I can know early. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Folks, how are you? I'm so Good. I'm David. So long. I'm doing okay, Clarissa David Benton. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you get to visit with the baby a bit today, huh? Yes. Yeah. How are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, it's good, but we don't know the gender, so it's like. Not We're trying to wait for the party. We're gonna have a party. Well, good luck. We'll see by the time we get home. Now, the baby looks good. It's grown. Okay, your cervix looks like it's having some changes, though. Have you ever had anything done to your cervix? Have you ever had a DNC or a biopsy? Because sometimes the cervix, in uh, this point in pregnancy, can start to show some evidence of some weakness. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when Mei Ling was doing the ultrasound, she was the lady who was doing the ultrasound. Mm -hmm. When Mei Ling was looking, it looked like the cervix may be having some opening and closing. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. Yeah. The, I didn't know yeah. if that was normal. Um, it's not usually normal. Have you been feeling any contractions? I mean, it's kind of early to be. I came here that. a couple, like two and a half weeks ago, yeah. and I tell them I was uh, having yeah. a lot of pain right. down there, or mm -hmm. not, and mm -hmm. I asked them like. Mm -hmm. Could it be contractions with pain? I think yeah. it's like, oh, it's impossible. So I was like, yeah. okay. Yeah, early it's it's hard. The 17, 16 weeks is hard to have contractions, but some women will start to have some contractions that can affect the cervix a little bit. And if the cervix continues to weaken and shorten, it may not provide adequately for the, the pregnancy and to support the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, what I'd like to do is monitor you a little bit to see if the uterus is contracted. Kind of hard to do that mm -hmm. in, in 20 weeks. We can't do it here, okay? But what I'd like to do is to do um, another ultrasound uh, today and, and monitor for any contraction. I have to do that at the hospital, okay? okay? Because if it looks like that cervix is opening up inside, if it gets weak enough, sometimes we have to put a stitch in the cervix to reinforce it, okay? okay? And generally the cervix has to be a lot shorter than what we're seeing. Okay, for the stitch? For the stitch. Okay. Okay, it depends on which experts you read. Some people say 1.5 centimeters, some people say 2 centimeters. If it gets less than 2.5 centimeters, and one of the you know, measurements say it looked like it was 2.8 centimeters, about an inch. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it gets down about 2.5, sometimes we put you on vaginal progesterone therapy to kind of prevent it from getting shorter still. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things that if we let just go and say, see in a week, a week it may be a problem for yeah. you. Okay, so it makes sense to. Make so the I have that random yeah. and yeah. down there. It, it, it all just makes sense to, to watch it a little bit more closely, okay? So I don't feel comfortable just saying go home and let's have you come back in a week. We're going to schedule you another visit to come back here in a week to look at that cervix again. But today I, I need you guys to head down to the hospital for a little bit of monitoring just to make sure we don't need to be a little bit more mindful of what's going on with your cervix in the meantime. Because okay. it's got to support the pregnancy for another 19, 20 weeks yeah. or so. We've got to make sure it's going to be strong enough to do that. Okay? Yeah. The baby size, everything else looks fine on the ultrasound. So yeah. The baby looks fine. We just got to make sure that that cervix is going to support the pregnancy. There's a condition called incompetent cervix, okay. where a cervix just kind of slowly opens up on its own. Yeah, because I've seen yeah. when she pressed it, it looked yeah. like it was yeah. open and closing. Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's what we call a dynamic cervix, and that's a sign that maybe your cervix has a little bit of weakness, so that's something that we need to, to look into a little bit more closely today. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Have you guys been in the hospital before? All right, so you head down there. I'm going to call and let them know that you're coming. Okay. They'll get you hooked up to the monitor a little bit. I don't know if they'll pick up anything, but we'll get another sonogram and look at that cervix and see if it's still showing some of those dynamic changes, okay? Okay. All right. Um, and then you'll come back and see us in a week, regardless, okay? Okay. Because you're going to be pregnant in a week. Yeah. Okay, that's the goal. <laughs> Do you know usually how long that process usually takes? It don't matter, but... It's going to be at least a couple hours. By the time you get there, they get you in there, they get you a process, and they get you for the sonogram. It's probably from the time you get there, you're going to be there at least an hour and a half, I'd say. Okay. Okay, probably a little longer. Okay. All right, now on your way out today, check in uh, at our checkout, our checkout desk. Make an appointment and come back here for a week. It'll be a visit just like today where we do another sonogram and you see the doctor right after. Okay. okay. Um, everything else looked okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, any other questions? 
It'll be more questions once we know. Once, once, we, once, once, we see, once we see if the uterus is doing any contracting. Okay? And you say usually at 2.5 they usually do the stitch at that point? No, or? usually at 2.5 we start talking about giving you a medication called progesterone to put mm -hmm. in your vagina. It's a tablet that you put up there each night, each and every night, and that kind of helps quiet things down. Uh, prevents your cervix from getting progressively shorter. Because okay. okay. we need that cervix ideally to be somewhere around 2.5, 3 centimeters or longer. We know in that instance it will support the pregnancy mm -hmm. uh, to full term. So head on down there after you, we get you your shot and we make an appointment for a week. Okay. Okay. Can I go to the lab for that or that's okay? Uh, we're going to bring you to the lab. Feeling worried? Hmm? Feeling weary? I don't know. I'm Fast. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of like a yay, and then it, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> the baby's fine. You just might have to do some extra stuff in the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. You know what I feel? You know, because when the last time I was here, mm -hmm. I was saying that I was having these issues. And they... It was like, you were pregnant. And it, it was bypass. Yeah. But now it's taken more seriously. Yeah. Listen to, listen to your body. So the, I think that's what like I'm thinking about. That mm -hmm. on the top of like it doesn't tell you how to move forward, you know? Yeah. Uh, like the what ifs. Mm hmm But this would be the appointment where you find out any what ifs, right? No, I'm saying like what if after. Like what if it keep coming down, like what if, you know? Oh, he was saying you either stitch it. or stitches. Yeah. So one of the two, but the progesterone you got to take every night. But it didn't seem like that was it. Like his tone wasn't like that was it. That was like the starter. I think that was just his tone. Hmm? I'm not sure. But smile. Huh? Smile. <laughs> it feels like a part of me is a little bit sad, but a part of me feel like that don't really have a reason to be sad yet. But it's just like, I was looking at it, and what she was doing, and I was like, why is it doing that? Because I remember when I came here from my emergency appointment, and it was like, it was like, it's hard. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> so when I seen the service doing that, I was like, mm -hmm. I guess. You ready, Mama? Yeah. You feeling okay? Not dizzy or lightheaded? Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, your checkout form, you guys go straight ahead, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.